Hi everyone. May you be inspired, learn something new, or simply relax while watching. This video is another one where I have poured paints into one cup um, by sitting them upside down as you can see off to the right there and then using that paint in a pour. So there's a kind of a sneak peek of what kind of colours are in there. Um, I do believe we've got red, blue, purple, yellow and maybe that's it. There's absolutely no white in this one so I thought this would be a great opportunity to try out the Wreck-A-Ring with the Balloon Kiss and see how that goes. So I just started there with the Swirl Technique to create that ring like effect so that already looks awesome Let's give you a bit of a close up on those colors oh yep there's some pink in there yep all right so just spread it around just a little bit I don't want to go off the edges or the sides or anything yet because I want to have that um, luscious amount of paint on the surface just to kiss that top layer with the balloon. So you can still see some bubbles in there. I have torched it already, which you can see from some little multicolored cells in amongst there. it's a bit hard in the distance to see there but I'm trying I'm hoping that you can see that gentle contact of the balloon on the paint so I might just switch it up and see if I can give you a different view so all of these paints are from creative place and once again I am using the uh, Montmartre Clear PVA uh, glue 70% to 30% water mixture there we go that's a better angle for you so this is actually um, sped up times two so when you think about this process it's actually slower than what you're seeing and it's just about being patient and letting gravity pull that paint back down <laughs> I just this is so amazing I'm so excited about doing this And I'm really pleased that I found a great angle to share the actual uh, letting go of the paint for you. That is awesome. So you notice that I'm kind of focusing on the center here and that is because uh, that center section is more or less what is going to be left on the canvas after I tilt. So there we go. Now, let's see if we can change this up even a little bit more. So you can see what I've already done there and how it makes those lines that have been created look a bit pillowy and that's what I love about it it's that effect that I absolutely adore kind of almost like lollies and they're wrapped at the sides 
<laughs> that one looks cool just there. There we go. Right, so yeah, I'm just going to, I've sped this one up so that I can get some around the edge. Um, so that if it does get close to the edge and yet still remains on top of the canvas it is going to have that effect in there okay, but if you're an acrylic pourer yourself you know that around the edges generally gets lost either by rolling over itself or tilting off the edge and also remember to wipe off your balloon uh, in between dips. Um, there are some circumstances where you don't want to do that, but I would strongly recommend that for this. So here's a close up of how that looks. I am loving those lines. It is gorgeous. And I'm so pleased that I've had this opportunity to try it without the white in there so there is some pink um, which is what appears as the palest color on here um, but no actual white all right so now to give it a bit of a tilt so I am going really slow and steady because Remember, this is sped up a little for you. I'm going to once again use my hand as the corner catcher to try and prevent some of the things I don't want to tilt off. And just releasing, like in that section, my thumb or whatever you choose for bits that you do want to pour off. Now just centering the paint back into the middle which opens up the lines around the edges that have grabbed onto those sides while tilting. And also just having a look at it and working out is there any sections that you might want to tilt off now. So what I've found with this mixture, um, bubbles don't pop very easily. So I have to keep an eye on that. So there you go, that was my final tilt. Just felt like a little bit more off on that corner would be amazing. So let's have a close up now about how these opened up and spread out. Got some stunning, stunning, my gosh, I am loving this. These lines are beautiful. You can actually see the colors, solid line colors that have been interrupted by that delicate balloon kiss. Oh, I'm so thrilled. What I want to do, oh my gosh, if you can please help me with suggestions or anything on this. I want to be able to do this, to create this on a larger scale. And I, I don't know how to do that yet, having it be so delicately touching the paint. So if you have any ideas, please leave it in the comment below. If you could share that, that would be amazing. I love this section looks like a little heart but it's also got all that range of color in there so thrilled to bits I hope you enjoy this um, if you're enjoying my videos please subscribe if you haven't already leave me a thumbs up 
leave me a comment below and share it with others who might also appreciate it. So because I'm so thrilled and amazed at this, I've got some photos coming up of some of my favourite sections. So that's before tilting, after tilting, down those sides. Oh, gorgeous. These lines and effects, they're amazing. All right, so thank you so much for being here with me. I really appreciate it. It means so much to me. And take care, everybody. Like, be kind, be creative, and be fabulous. Bye.